Dear members of the European Parliament and national parliaments, my name is Vicky Van Eck. I'm the director of Positive Money Europe. We are an organization that works on reforming the money system so that it works for everyone. Today, I have four key messages that I would like to deliver. One, we need to protect access to cash for as long as possible. Second, a digital euro is an opportunity to re-establish money as a truly public good. Unfortunately, the ECB's idea of perhaps relying on private intermediaries to issue it goes against this ambition. Three, an ambitious digital euro should have the same benefits as cash. Four, it would also provide an opportunity to improve our money system as a whole by providing healthy competition to banks, making our payment system more resilient, and helping to more effectively combat recession and crisis. There is a common misconception amongst the general public today that the money we use on a daily basis is created by the central banks. Indeed, when the first central bank started to emerge, and the Swedish Riksta was the first one, their core task was to manage inflation and the production and issuance of banknotes and coins. The cash issued by the central banks played a crucial role in establishing trust. It is the most liquid, safe, anonymous asset that people have access to in an economy today. It acts as an anchor of the entire monetary system. Today, cash accounts for less than 10% of money in circulation. The vast majority of the nation's money supply is in fact created by the commercial banks when they make loans. This dominance of private money over public money is only further reinforced by the closure of ATMs, which the commercial banks see as unprofitable. This decline of cash has serious implications on our society. Without it, people will only ever be able to make payments through the commercial banking sector. This reliance on the banking sector to offer a public good of payment systems ultimately results in a large number of people being financially excluded today. Today, around 9% of adult citizens in the EU do not have access to a bank account, and 6% do not have a payment card. Finally, without cash, people would lose access to an anonymous means of payment. This means even more personal data transfer into the hands of the commercial banking sector, and this at a time when trust in the system, in the banking system, is already so low. For these reasons, we welcome initiatives that oblige credit institutions to keep in continuing access to cash and to subsidize ATMs as public goods. However, faced with an increased demand in digital payments, we need a cash equivalent fit for the digital age. The digital euro is an opportunity to provide a universally accessible and safe electronic form of public money, especially for those that are currently excluded from financial services. Unfortunately, the digital euro that the ECB currently has in mind is designed with and for the financial sector and not for people. The idea to issue digital euros through the commercial banking sector is a mistake for three reasons. It would only serve to further increase the competitive advantage of an already highly oligopolistic digital payments market. Second, citizens are unlikely to take up digital euros if they perceive it as being no different from the bank accounts already offered by the commercial banks. Finally, I don't need to mention that the tendency for commercial banks to create financial crisis has shown that they cannot be the sole providers of money. For these reasons, people need the option to access an account through a publicly owned institution or nonprofit entity. But this kind of account-based system on its own is insufficient to make it a truly public good because it would, for instance, not address the issues of accessibility and privacy that EU citizens raised in the ECB's consultation on the digital euro. We therefore need the option of accessing and paying with digital euros without requiring identification by any kind of institution. This would replicate the benefits of cash. It would be unremunerated but free, fully anonymous, accessible to all, and offline. Such a proposal is currently being put forward in the US via the eCash Act. A digital euro designed for people would have three major benefits for our money system as a whole. It would take back power from the commercial banks by challenging their market power over retail deposits and payment systems. Healthy competition will force banks to innovate and offer better services to, to people. It would provide the foundation for a backup payment system in case of cybersecurity threats or outages due to extreme weather events, thereby increasing the resilience of our system as a whole. Finally, it could help central banks and governments to more effectively combat crisis and recession by making it easier to create money that can be transferred to the wider economy, what we advocate for as helicopter money. The digital euro is an opportunity to improve our money system, to make it more resilient, more efficient, 
and fair. A well-designed and implemented digital euro can become the new anchor of trust in our monetary system. Thank you.